So let me adjust my computer first. Like some. Okay, testing one, two, three. Okay, all right. Okay, now we will start with the number tasa, right? So hopefully you all can hear me now, right? Okay. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Okay, good evening. So I already told you all, so today we are going to do the Buddha no Sati. So any of you like to share any of the Buddha picture that you like? Melinda or whoever? Can you hear me? Yes, uh, Sayuji, I, I think I, I don't know how to share. I don't know uh, how to share in the Zoom. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank how you. about other people? Anybody like to share? Oh, Wong, okay. So wait, let me make you as a co-host. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, now, Wong, you can share now. Wong? Hey, Sayaji, I... Uh, uh, Linda. I Not me. <laughs> uh, who want to share? Oh, Linda, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> yes, Linda, you can share. Sorry. <laughs> Linda, you can share now. Linda? Linda, can you share? Okay, I think she doesn't know how to share. Okay, anybody want to share? No? No, as well. How about Brother Ko, Brother Ong? Your Brother Ko should be more convenient with the computer. So nobody want to share. All right, okay. Bye. I don't have suitable Buddha image in my record. All right. Nah. Okay. How about any Dhamma thing you like to share? No? I'd like to suggest a picture of Varanasi. La. Varanasi is a nice Buddha image. Okay. I don't have so, do you have the picture? You also <laughs> have the picture. It's <laughs> quiet. Varanasi is a... How about... Image. Okay. All right. So, okay. The purpose of sharing the Buddha is uh, just to make you... I mean... Normally, how do you gain the faith or confidence in Buddha? By looking at the Buddha image, all right? So it's very, very easy because the Buddha already passed on, passed away so many years ago. So that, there's no way we can recall the image of the Buddha or even think about how Buddha looked like. But through the modern whatever picture or statue that we saw, we saw or we see in, in our life, so today we will we be able to recall some of the Buddha image, all right? So I, I just share with the, the one that I think. Sayaji, Sayaji, I will I share my photo. Okay, okay. Wait, yeah, let me. Okay, uh, yes. You can share. Okay, let me. Yeah, you yeah, are the co-host. You can share now. Will you? Yes, okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, we can see now. Okay, can you describe why you like this photo? Yes, will you? Uh, will you? Yes, you can speak why you okay, like this sorry. photo. Okay, yeah, can yeah. you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yeah, because I haven't done any sharing through Zoom, but only Google Meet. Oh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, it's a good attempt. Ah, you can turn I, on your video also. Yeah. Okay. My video. Now I'm I don't know where it is because uh I'll start my video, okay. Yes, okay. okay. Mm. I don't because now okay, the good. screen is so small already. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can we can see your Buddha photo very clear. Okay, uh, nice I, one. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. this uh it's about two two feet over in length oh. and one and a half feet in breadth. Ah. I bought this. I bought the, the picture frame from Myanmar, Yangon, many years ago oh. when I was there for a convention. Mm. And I really love it so much because mm. the Buddha, the picture of the Buddha is so serene. 
and then everything oh, is there. Okay. There's a holy tree, and then it's all the gems. I don't know, not not the real gems lah, but all made up of gems lah. All the different, oh yeah, yeah. All the difference. I think Sergi would know. The yes, yes, there because in Myanmar they produce gem. Of course, this is a cheap one. It is actually yeah. gem, but very cheap quality. So they oh. put on the gems on the Buddha's uh, the the ropes, right? Yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah. In the main, oh, everything. Lotus, oh. Yeah, yeah. The, and then the body tree. So I, I I like I really like I really bought it and um uh, it's not expensive mm. also. So okay. it's on the wall and how many yeah, years ago? About more than ten years already. At the time, how much the price? Yeah, I forgot one dollar, <laughs> two dollar. Uh, okay, so oh, it, this is something in your room. You saw it every my, day. In oh, okay. my home, no, because now oh, I'm in Malaysia, okay. so it's in my okay. house in Kaja. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, okay. The other day I came up and I took the photo. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, good, oh. good. So you like it because it's very yes, serene yes. and it's made of. It is beside the, it's not the normal one, it's really made of gems, right? The the yeah. trees so and it's so it's uh, really a gem. Uh, yeah, for me the Buddha Nusati is a real gem. Yeah. And I have a small little Buddha statue that uh, we bought from Sri Lanka. It's on the right hand side, bottom right, Saji. Cannot hear. So yeah, so I would like to share this. Sergey, we cannot hear you. You can use the pointer to point at the small statue. Ah, yeah. That is small statue. It is a... So, can you see it's up there? Yeah, is it? I, I, okay, from here, I cannot see it very clearly. It is like a baya. So, you know, it's so serene and uh, it's like saying, the Buddha is saying to us that no fear. If great faith and you follow the Dharma, then there's no fear in, in doing okay. wrong. Thank you. Okay. Thank you okay, thank you. All right. Uh yes, Lucian, you can share now. Lucian, you want to share? Uh, yes, uh Sanjay. Um you can share your screen, yes. So okay. Mm. There's the share screen option. Um I don't see it. Um oh yeah, share screen. Okay. Um yeah, so can you see it? Oh, yes. Oh, nice. How big is this yeah. one? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not very big. Um, actually, like I seen a bigger version, like a life size version of this one. Um, mm -hmm. but um, this one uh, is very small, actually. Like, I think it can fit in a hand or something. Um, oh. but um, yeah, what I like about it is just like the posture, like Buddha is sort of um, like saying like a stop sort of thing like it reminds me how he asked um, Angulimala to stop um, and then uh, yeah so um, it reminds me of that and then just to like stop <laughs> everything sort of thing um, yeah okay so, um, so you like it is because it's uh, in the walking posture um not not the uh, feet but like the hand uh, hand gesture oh. is just to like the, it's very sort of look like is it's like a, about going to lift out something like that it's more like kind of like emotion yeah yeah seldom see the buddha statue like this you know yeah mm -hmm. where the hand yeah, is separate from the body the... yeah right 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 yeah i couldn't find the life size version it's like uh, very big um at mm -hmm. um uh, the Australian monastery I was at, um, yeah, they had like a, maybe more than two of two to three meters tall study of this, mm. uh, the exact same um, yes. posture, okay. but it's just bigger. Okay, okay good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Saji, right. did you want yes. me to like continue with Dhamma Nusati or like are we just doing the Buddha Nusati? Uh, okay, anybody still want to do Buddha Nusati? Anybody? No, just, uh, as, as a comment, I saw this big, uh, huge statue in uh, Nakompatam, Thailand. They had okay. to build one, one, one uh, Buddha park. Oh, there. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We is a giant okay. size statue, like walking, walking posture. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Sumbang, yes. Sumbang, you want to. I mean, you're a co host. Do you want to share your Buddha statue? Buddha statue? We, we uh, share. share. Uh, you want to. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, okay, now. I have the photo yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, 
this mm. this photo is actually uh, at Kajang. Uh, mm. It's a statue at our Kajang Buddhist Center. Oh, Kajang. Okay. Uh, it's easily three three feet or more. It's a very big mm. one. It's right in our okay. shrine hall. Uh, mm. Every time I look at it, I find um, the I find peace lah. And uh, there are many different uh, images, fa facial expression uh, for the Buddha in others. But I especially like this type because uh, one, it is very clear. Uh, it's like very pure uh, in terms of mm -hmm. the colors. And mm -hmm. uh, the way the, the smile is very serene. So uh, sometimes when I do uh, Buddha Nusati, uh, I will try to bring this this particular image to me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so you do Buddha Nusati based on this image? Okay. Yes, yes. Ah, this right. is okay. one that I try to recall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have successfully done the Buddha Nusati. Okay, good. All right, good. Okay, yes. Uh, all right, anybody else? If not, we go for Dhamma Nusati. Anybody want to raise hand? Okay. All right, if nobody, so we go for Dhamma Nusati. Uh, Rushan, just now you want to share us your... Rushan, you can do the Dhamma Nusati. Oh, yeah, thanks, Saji. Um, yes, okay. Sorry, I a screen. So I'm trying to share my... Um, sorry, uh, it's taking a while. Um, start my video. Can you see it now? Uh, uh, not yet. Okay, now I can see. All right, yes. Oh, yeah, it's just a, this is a small passage. Sabbe hime pie hinana bao vinaha bao. Oh, Maranam Sati. No, it's um, Dasa Dhamma Sutta. It's like um, I got the meaning um, from access uh, to insight. Um, yeah, one of the recollections. Uh, we cannot see your file yet. We only see, we cannot see your document. We just see the file. Only. You haven't opened up. It's not open up yet. Okay, it's um, open. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, um, so I'll just uh, share the uh, access to inside website. Um, it's okay. one of the 10 reflections. Um, oh, okay. Yes. So, um, yeah, there will be parting someday from all those who are dear and loving to me. Uh, death brings this separation to me. This must be reflected upon and again by one who has gone forth. Um, yeah, this um, brings home uh, some of the teachings. So, yeah. What was the name of this sutta? could think of. The name? What's uh, the name of this sutta? Dasadama. Oh, that's Dhamma. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Anguttara. Okay, so why do you like this sutta? Um, yeah, I suppose like yeah, there, there's some yeah, like Maranana to the aspect to it as well. Like it sort of um sort of brings the teaching to present. Like you know, like I could get lazy and uh, you know forget about the teaching, but like yeah, if I remember mm -hmm. this, then yeah, like everything else is not very important. Like. Uh, you know, there's going to be death, so yeah, might as well make best use of this life. Like, you know, there's no point, you know, doing other things like, you know, creating okay. more friendships and relationships and stuff. It, yeah. it gives you a spiritual urgency. It, yeah, it also yeah, tells you that it's something that everything else is not so important. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Do you like it because of some reason? Because like somebody in, very near to you passed away, so you really feel it? No, no? not really. Uh, we just chant this like um, in the Thai forest tradition. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a quite a um, um, famous phrase. So like, yeah, I, I, I'm. Yeah, yeah. This I'm is the Maranam Sati. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Later, I will show the chanting also for those. Uh, because we have some uh, newcomer. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So anybody else like to uh, share about Damano Sati? Okay. Okay. So if no Damano Sati, any Sangha Sati, any vulnerable that you really respect, you like to show with us, share with us, any uh, Sangha Sati? Okay. I'm 
have no okay. picture, but uh, I always uh, very inspired by a picture of Mahasi, uh, the old picture. Okay. With, with, he sit with the you no, know, sit down there with the shawl over his shoulder. And always mm-hmm. sees Mahasi's picture. Okay. Mahasi's you practice Mahasi before, right? So that's why. Yeah, you yeah. Are... I started with Mahasi. Okay. How many years you practice Mahasi? Are you off and on few years, uh. <laughs> I mean, why do you like Mahasi? That, that, that's a reason. Why do you like it? No, because, it because of... there's, there's only one that was a thought. La. That's the one mm. we were, was available to me. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brother Ko, yes? You want to, any picture you want to share? Okay, Brother yes, Ko? I will share. Yes, okay, good. Can you see? Uh, yes, yes. It's a yes, yes, from which country? Is it Mauritian or Chinese? This is Jing Gong Lao Fasu. Oh Jing Gong, okay. Ah. Mm-hmm. Why why do you feel that you like him a lot? You respect him a lot? Actually he's this he has passed away two mm-hmm. years ago. Uh he was the first, or rather, the, the first uh, monk that I actually followed with the recommendations from my pa- my father. Okay. Uh, so, so you, you can read Chinese. Let's read it. No, no, no. I, I, I actually learned, learned Mandarin from uh, the VCD of Qing Kong Lao Fa Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so because of that, I actually picked up a lot of uh, Mandarin words in that okay. sense. Uh, I mean, All right. So, okay. And that's how also I practice my Mandarin mm-hmm. uh, from his VCD. Uh, that was okay. when I seriously uh, study Buddhism, uh, but it's from mm-hmm. Mahayana side. Mm-hmm. And, uh, now you are still on uh, follow both Mahayana Theravada or what is, uh, what's your inclination now? Uh, much because of the language, because okay. of the language that uh, the Mahayana, uh, the, the Chinese Mahayana is more on Mandarin. So okay. because the they, the language barrier, so I tend to follow more of Theravada teaching now. Okay. Okay. But I find that the, there's a lot of complementary uh, benefits there. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, fortunately, there I have less bias towards each or, or yeah. do I prefer this or that, but it's more of for practical reasons. It mm. is more suitable for me at which point. And uh, I find that maybe because of the openness that I have, I allow myself to be exposed to many different types of teachers, even within Theravada. Mm-hmm. So I'm quite receptive so long as the ideas, the message that I find that is useful for me at that point of time, mm-hmm. I will be willing to accept it and okay. uh, pick it up. Mm. Mm. And uh, okay. as, I, as I go on with my study of Abhidharma or even Buddhist study, I find that the, the tendency is that I will change and mm. I'm open to change the teachers that I'm, I'm, I'm learning from. So I do not really get stick into a, a, a specific or particular teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So any other person would like to share any photo of vulnerable they will respect? You can leave your hand. Uh any more? Okay. All right. Uh you can stop sharing. Okay. Yes, Rushan? Yes. Um, yes, Sajid, um, you can share now, yes. yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a, uh, this is the venerable monastery I'm staying at. Um, okay. His name is Bandidami. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's not very famous or anything, but um, yeah, he's been uh, very kind to me and like, uh, yeah, sort of there's some uh, understanding because he, he has practiced in Thai forest tradition as well. So um, yeah. Basically, um, kindness, wisdom, and yeah, like understanding, compassion. So, 
yeah, you find the good qualities in him, kindness, compassion, uh, yeah. humble. He looked humble to me also, right? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. very humble actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. All right, so any more from other students? Anybody? You can... All right, okay, so... If no more, uh, okay, I will share my teacher photo. I think you saw it on the WhatsApp already. So let me share my screen. Okay, can you all see that? Uh, no, Sanji, no, cannot see. Hey, what happened now? Uh, let me try again. Okay, I'm going to share using the... Okay. Wait, let me open for my computer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm weird. Okay, so uh, while I'm opening my computer, so the most important thing of learning this is it's very much more easy to get the meaning when we are approaching somebody we know, like the teacher or those who are closest to us. Because if you are talking about Sangha, if you are talking about somebody you never see before, it's very difficult. Okay, right. I will share from my computer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you all see now? Yes, Sajji. Yes, Sajji, you can see. Okay, it. all right. Where? Oh, now cannot see Sajji. <laughs> Where? What happened to my WhatsApp? Sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah. So, anyway, I will go for this computer sharing. Let me scroll to the top. Okay, so I think I saw this one. Uh, he actually he was he's a Burmese monk. He's a really a doctor, skin specialist. So he renounced after he get married. He work. He was a doctor. Uh, helping in the Mahasi center. So he was a because he was very you know all the doctors are very good English. He was a translator for Mahasi Sado and a chief disciple of the Mahasi Sado. He so he picked out lots of very good dharma from very great meditation teacher. So this was the photo I took. When, he, uh, when I visited him, he came back to Mahasi Center after he did the missionary work teaching in Malaysia for eight years. So these ones were when he was getting quite unwell. So he was near to 80 years old. So this was taken about uh, before he getting weaker and weaker, weaker. So every year when I go and see him, he now he can sit down. So the next time he lie down, the next time he cannot get out. So can see the Anicca very well in him okay he had passed away a few years ago so you can see he's a very serious person yeah he's very serious he's a very, very honest very kind very disciplined very disciplined so he will get up exactly four o'clock in the morning and sleep nine o'clock in the morning very puncture so when he was young people say people call him the big time because he followed the schedule very well so i learned vipassana from him I also learned the Dhamma from him because I was the translator for him from the English to Chinese because the Chinese community cannot speak English. So by doing so, English to Chinese, Chinese to English, I picked out the Dhamma in both language. Like Brother Kola, because of Dhamma, he picked out Chinese. So I also, because of Dhamma, I picked out the Chinese also. All right. So it's very good to learn from a very, uh, very elderly teacher. Because besides they teach us the Dhamma, they also share with us their life experience, you know. So he also teach me about things, how to associate with people and so on. Because my nature is not so socialized. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So we finish this one. So today we go for the topic. So if nobody wants to do sharing, so we just come back to the main topic. All right. Now we are on the Wisdom Maga. Lesson 7, Chapter 7. Actually, we are quite fast because we are doing only the essence because it's actually quite impossible to go very detailed. So whatever is important, I will say. All right, so we already finished the Kasina. 
So it's very simple. Kasina very simple means you just focus on a piece of single, simple object, a circle, whether red or blue or yellow or earth or something. So we finish. And Asoba, we show the photo, the, the video last week. So you need some, a lot of Vitaka initial application to look at the Asuba, the statues of corpse, which I think most people will not like it because it's very ugly and you only can get first jhana. So, but if you do Kasina, you can go, get up to the fourth or fifth jhana. So actually Kasina should be say, easier to do because you need to focus on single round of journey. Now we come with the topics today, Budanu Sati, is under the Anusati, Budanusati, Damanusati, Sanganusati, Silanusati, Chaganusati, Dewatanusati, Maranusati, Upasamanusati. And under the Anusati, got the Kayakata Sati and Anapanasati. All right. But out of these 10, so eight of them is can give you only excess concentration. All right. So that means that the, you will not get jhana when you're going to do all this contemplation of Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, and so on. The reason is very simple. Because you want to think about the Buddha quality, you need to have lots of thoughts. You need to focus. You have you need to have a, we call it the initial application, all right? So you only can get excess concentration. So if your aim is to get very deep jhana, so I suggest you can go for Kasina, fourth or fifth, or even Asuba, first jhana. So if your aim is not to get jhana, you just want to have some calmness or small concentration or a little bit concentration, then Buddha knows something may be easier for you. All right. So this is kind of like tie out with what we learned before. So next week, we will go for Kaya Gata Sati and Napana Sati. Right? Okay. Now, it's very important to understand the Pali also. So next year, I will maybe continue on the Satipatthana, all right? Pali. Now, mindfulness is called sati. Okay, there's a meaning of anu, all right? So, or alternately, the mindfulness sati that's proper is called anurupa. For the cleansed man going for out of faith. So, this is a typical way how they translate the Pali text. All right, see, it occurs only in those instances where it should occur. So, we call it anu sati. This is just a definition, but Pali is anu means again, again, sar, the root. For sati is sa, okay? Sa plus ti, you got sati. The meaning of sa is to remember. So mindfulness means to remember. How many? Okay, same, all right? Yes. Okay, same also. Okay. Okay, I think sangha no sati. You can raise your hand again. Sangha no sati. Contemplation on sangha no sati. Only Doris, okay? How about Sila? Think about your own morality. How many of you have practiced this before or like to practice Sila no Sati? Doris only. How about generosity? You think about any charity that you've done before? Generosity? Is it Doris only? No, no, I cannot re uh, cancel my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought you raise your hand for everything. No, no I, cannot, I cannot cancel. Okay, okay, hand. okay. Okay, okay. Now, okay. Chaga no sati. How many people think about your own generosity? If you are a generous person, how many of you are generous person? None of you are considered generous person. Okay. How about Dewata no sati? I think most people would don't want to do it. How about Marana no sati? I think look, look, Kashrushan, just like you practice, right? Okay, Pueliu and Ko and Go also. All right. And Shimin, right? Marana no sati. It's good to practice if you feel lazy or you feel that you're wasting your time on so many things. How about the last one? Upasama no sati. Any of you done before? Go, all right? Okay. All right. So uh, just now go say you do the upasama, right? So go, can you describe how you do the no, upasama? No, no, no. I fail no. to lower my hand. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you know okay. I lower it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Sa so I think Sa most people Sa were. Oh yes, yes, Melinda. Sa yes, how you question? how you practice the last one? Uh, upasama. Upasama is thinking uh -huh. about nibbana. Now. Now, we, we need to be honest with ourselves. How many of you really like to gain Nibbana? You have to think about this question first, right? 
So if you are healthy, you don't have body problem. And if your life is too comfortable, I think you do not want Nibbana, right? But so far in Myanmar, I noticed that some of the people, they wish for Nibbana. Why? Because some of them suffering from cancer. Some of them suffering from diabetes. They already experienced the severe disease. So the thought of having the next life is very scary to them. So for those person, they really think about Nibbana is the end of life. Nibbana, there is no Namalupa. Nibbana is still suffering. So they would like to think about the peacefulness of Nibbana. Okay, so for those person, they will be interested to do Nibbana. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you okay. so much, Saji. Thank you. Okay, so any last question? Now 4.30 already. I mean, my time is 4.30. We, we already one and a half hours here. So any last question before we finish? So I hope for this session, you are very clear. So all this Anusati only lead you to assess concentration, but from this point onwards, it will help you if you want to change to Vipassana. So if you are sitting doing Vipassana, you are have so much suffering due to the back pain, knee pain, whatever pain, you can just temporarily stop the Vipassana, change to Samatha, and do Anusati because it's very easy to do. You have the Buddha statue, you can open your eyes to get the Buddha, or you can think about some of the Dhamma things you like, like uh, Hetu Pacheo, Aramana Pacheo, or what ETB, so Bhagawa. You can do some chanting to make your mind calm down, feel happy and peaceful. Then, after that, when you have enough energy, then you continue to change to Vipassana. Then you don't feel so suffering. So, this practice we call it if you are doing Samatha and Samatha first, Vipassana later. So it's also no harm because Buddha also teach Samatha. All this Buddha. So it's not to say you must do Vipassana all the time and then you, what, your road is so jammed, you feel so uncomfortable, you want to give up. But it also depends. If you have a good meditation teacher, he will advise you. So in some of the meditation teacher, meditation center here, they actually advise students to do Metta and Vipassana together. So I think next week we will go for Metta. Why? Because in meditation center, you are dealing with lots of people. You are living with other yogis. So you need to have a metta for yourself, for other yogi also. And also, sometimes the meditation center is dwelled by many dewas, you know. So you don't want to offend them. So better make friends with them, all right? So metta is also samatha. So you can practice samatha. Maybe before you start with pasana, you can just radiate loving kindness to all beings. Then after that, you change to Vipassana. Or at the end, you remember to share your merits with all the beings. Okay? All right, yeah, before we finish, we better share the merits. <laughs> we always talk about forget. All right, so I prepare some chanting so we can do it together. Okay. So, all right. So, you all can join me, whoever wants to join. All right. Okay, so we put the hand together, all right. Imano punya bagam sapa satanam dema. Imano punya bagam sapa satanam dema. Imano punya bagam sapa satanam dema. Idam no nyati na ho tu sukita hon tu nyata yo. Idam no nyati na ho tu sukita hon tu nyata yo. Idam no nyati na ho tu sukita hon tu nyata yo. Udam me udakang utam adani nam pawatati. Ewa mewa ido dinam petana upa kapatu. Yada wari wahapura paripuranti sagaram. Ewa mewa ido dinam petana upa kapatu. Okay, this one. Aka sata chabum ata dewa naka mahitika Bunyantam anumoditwa chirarakantu sasanam Aka sata chabum ata dewa naka mahitika Bunyantam anumoditwa chirarakantu desanam 
Akasata cabumata dewa naga mahitika punyantam anumotitwa cirarakan tu mampara amti. Okay, now good to give blessing. Arura rogya sampati saga sampati mewaja ado nibana sampati imena te samijatu dewo wasatu kayena sasa sampati hotu cha itu bawatu loko cha raja bawatu damiko. Okay, next one. This one making aspiration, all right? Oh, well, sorry. Okay. Adai maya patipataya jara mara namha parimuchi sami idam me punyam ashawa kaya waham hotu idam me punyam nipana sa pachayo hotu idam me silam aga palanyana sa pachayo hotu Imina punya kami nama kami bala sama kamu datan sama kamu hotu ya bani bana patia. We do the we do the last one. Okay, so Buddha sa sanam ciram di. Tattoo. So means that may the Buddha teaching last long. Okay. Okay. So this one we recite slowly because it will give impression to the mind. Okay. So sometimes it's good to recite very slowly. Okay. Buddha sasanam kiranti tato. Buddha sasanam kiranti tato. Buddha sasanam kiranti tato. Okay, sadu 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 sadu. Okay, thank you for joining in. Thank so you, I hope you Sarah all learn a lot today. Okay. So when Thank you feel you, frustrated, when you feel frustration in your meditation, uh, <laughs> don't worry. You got forty methods. <laughs> you can change whatever methods you like. Okay. <laughs> no need to say. Okay, I jam at this method. I cannot possess. So there are forties. So even we pass how many according to the Satipatthana, I think there are twenty one methods. You know, we pass there are twenty one, and Samatha got forty. So you don't say jam lah. There are so many methods. <laughs> Okay. All right. See you all next week. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you Sayaji. Thank you. Thank you, Sayaji. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.